There are so many people that are pastoring that say to me that if it wasn't for Mother Tucker, I would not be pastoring. So many people say that. God's unchanging hand, will you hold some things eternal? Hold to God's unchanging hand. Mother has been a role model for me for about 45 years. She's like a mother hen. She cuddled her little children and everything she held good, she'd always bring me in it. Preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. And I will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing, and I will make all his bed in his sickness. Psalms 41, 1 through 3. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and reading of his word. Yeah, because this was uh, not just a mission, it was a rescue home. What made it different, we didn't put no length of time for the people to stay. When they come, we wanted them to be able to kind of get themselves together and uh, get back into society like they should. And I haven't met anybody yet. Hardly they don't know. My grandma was in her church, or, or she gave us yeah. some groceries or a can of peas. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. mother has fed everybody. She fed them first. She ministered to them last, but she ministered to them in, first in a different manner for their physical need, and then she brought it on around for their spiritual need. But they were so willing and so open at that time to hear and to listen. They weren't hungry. They weren't starving, and they wasn't without. And she said, she said, come back tomorrow. God will make a way. Come back the next day. I mean, that place was loaded. I mean, by faith, her praying and believing God. Mother Tucker had always kept something. You could always go in there and get something. And plus, not only that, the spiritual and the natural. But she always, like I said, she always had that extended heart to help people. That, that hard to help you. And, and she always encouraged you about the Lord. She said, don't give up. Don't give up. No matter where I was, when I felt like nobody else could reach God for me or help right. me get to God, or intercede. if I could get to Grandma, she can help me get to God. Today, she has never changed. I've known her to be the same person, always trying to help somebody, do something for somebody. So that's something that... I, I, I really appreciate her authenticity and I see the, the value of, of that authenticity, um, you know, just as a, as a leader in, in general, you know, I know that's not, it doesn't, it, it, you pay a price for that, it doesn't, it's not something that comes, you know, it's, it's easy to do. One of the city workers told me, he said, uh, if we come here and find anybody in here, Somebody could stay there, you know, as just kind of watching things in the office. But if we find anybody in here, sleep with anybody, we're going to put you, we're taking you to jail. I often tell the folks if I'm doing what God wants me to do and they take me to jail, just let me take my Bible with me. Because there's plenty of work to do in the jail. 
man. The way she forgives is not like most of us forgive. You know, if someone does anything to hurt us or whatever, you know, we may say we forgive them, but it's like that trust level still is not, you know, we still may not treat them exactly the way they, we treat them before they, you know, did whatever they did. See, if somebody do you wrong, you don't have to give an account of that, but you have to get an account of how you react. So the best thing to do when somebody do you wrong, just bless them. Women were not allowed to pass in Church of God Christ at the time. Well, shortly thereafter, Mom left the organization. Man, we had grown up in that church, you know. She lost all, I think she lost all of her friends. You know, when you treat them like they never hurt you, when, you know, you open that door up for them to hurt you again. But she just always say, I have to forgive. So they said, you know, That's in my mind. Fifty years later, Church of God in Christ had a women state women convention here, and they was had something going that they was going to award the woman they was going to acknowledge as a woman of power. Fifty years earlier, I was mine was bad and everything. Mm. Fifty years later. I was She is such an inspiration. I can't even begin to keep up with her. <laughs> I, I don't even try, you know. She's up early, she's on her phone, she's doing her work that God has prepared her to do. And she's faithful. And I just look at her and it's like a, I feel like I have the art and the covenant under my roof. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm riding off her blessings. That's just the way I feel. What, what she's placed in me as far as seeing her dedication, her commitment, her ability to keep going when it didn't look like you should keep going, her uh, tenacity in believing and standing, uh, the miracles, the revivals, the, 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 the um, testimonies, all of the things that tie in with my, my being impacted. That's what I admire about her, the purity of her walk with God, the respect that she has for, you know, not just the souls of everybody else, but she is determined she's going to be right with God. To this day, she still say, pray for me, you know, and, and that's, that's just admirable. And I want that. That's what I want. I, I want that in my walk with God. It's a lot of because there's a deep understanding of God's love in her heart. You know, she, she has her reasons to believe what she believes, like we all do, hopefully. But I just really admire the fact that the love of God shines through her. Her slogan is, everybody is somebody. And, you know, not everybody thinks that way. Um, you know, but you know, the people that, that you've seen her help, you know, it's just, it's astounding how she just allows the love of God just to flow through her. I don't know if any of us will be able to, you know, match it. <laughs> so she wouldn't want to hear that. She would want, to, she would want, want us to, you know, strive to be, you know, you know uh, as unconditional, you know, loving as that. You, you know, in the middle of the night, Three or four o'clock in the morning, you know, people was always calling. The phone number was always listed. Seven 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 one. You know, it's just the same number, and she did it on purpose. I remember her sharing her sending it over and over. She, she wanted to be available. She had, she really felt like pastors were servants. I want her legacy to go on and on, see, because I, I don't want to just quit here. I want to go on and on. So, I, so God has used you to pioneer in so many ways and 
And um, I just thank God. I'm proud to be your son. Proud to be your son, Mom. God has got me here for a purpose. And I'm just saying yes. I am saying yes. <laughs>